Okay, guys, this is my last video for for the night, and I can call it a night. I'm looking at my clock. It's like 11.02, and your girl is tired, but I should have uh, uploaded 911 yesterday, but I didn't, so, Whew. guys, I'm not making any excuses because I actually love my job, I actually have a full-time job, and so, however, whatever, we're not making any excuses here. <clears throat> Let's get into this review. So, this is uh, my review on Our Kind of People. The title is The Miseducation of the Negro, Season 1, Episode 5. And so, um, it starts out with uh, Tariq and Angela or in bed and she was trying to tickle him and then you know he's he's ticklish or whatever and so Angela tell him he you know he he needs to hurry up and go before um before her aunt Pat and Nikki wake up because they don't she haven't told them about him and so then she asked him when is he gonna put the cameras up well guys you already know those cameras was feeding and feeding so Teddy could see However, he took him down because, you know, he really liked Angela. So he took him down and played like something's wrong with him or whatever. So he up and leave or whatever. So, um, you know, sneak, sneak out of the house. And so, you know, seeing Cud and Raymond is texting, asking, you know, his ex-wife, hey, did you find anything on Teddy yet or whatever? And so he he's walking up to um, his mom, Leah, uh, Lauren, Quincy. Well, no, Leah wasn't. Lauren wasn't there yet, but <clears throat> she was on her way. And so uh, Laura, Leah had bought Lauren a horse, you know, as a gift for the cotillion, you know, whatever. I guess she loved horses because when she saw the horse, she you know, fell in love, whatever. She was so excited and her and her mom and then Quincy went over and they took pictures <laughs> by the horse and whatever. So Leah goes right into, I remember when, you know, my debutant ball and blah, blah, blah. And I'm, and Laura was looking like, this is my moment. You know, why are you in, you, you know, why are you talking about what you did? But she didn't say anything, but you can tell she was like, oh, okay, so... It's my moment, but, you know, anywho. So, they're talking or whatever. And, um, so, Leah goes, she was like, uh, she got some pearls and she had to go into the office and get them where Ted is in the office. And he was having bad tremors. And so, she was like, well, how long had this been going on? And he said, don't worry about it. I got a specialist and, you know, um, that's coming to see me. And uh, so, Leo tells Teddy, you know, uh, you, you might want to talk to Tariq because we're no longer getting a feed into the shop. You know, he, you know, we're no longer getting a feed. You need to check his his lawyer and see where his loyalties lie because, you know, you, you might want to see where he, where he is. And so... Nick is taking pictures, you know, of uh, in in all these different, uh, you know, I guess they're trying to take pictures for the perfect picture for Eve's Eve's crown. So she was, you know, she was real beautiful. She was taking all these pictures, and um, so why is they doing it, <laughs> baby? And Pat said, uh, "Who's been leaving the bathroom seat up?" And so you know, I'm old people, baby. They don't miss a beat. Y'all want one side of my hair look lopsided, right? Child, it's time for a new do. Y'all already know I get off subject, but I'll get back. So, uh, you know, I'm Pat. Didn't, she didn't miss a beat. And so, Nikki, I mean, so uh, Angie came clean. She was like, well, you know, Tariq and I been, you know, sleeping, you know, been sneaking around. And she, and she was, so her, and so she, but she told Angie, she said, but you haven't always, you know, told us about, you know, all your lovers either. So, or whatever, you know. So, you know, they have a little moment. You know, they they have a pretty good relationship. Great chemistry. 
And then, uh, so Nikki comes and she was telling her, oh, my first, one of my choices as far as college, you know, came through and she was going down the requirements and they had a, a list of requirements. So, um, Angie goes and talked to Leah. She was like, you know, hey, you know, basically she was saying, hey, um, she asked, can she put, get put in, into the cotillion? She was like, I can't just do that. She was like, you know, she said, because, you know, I was busy trying to make money and survive. And there was a lot of things I didn't get a chance to teach her, you know, that now, you know, I, I don't want, I don't want it to be held against her, you know? And so Leah act like, you know, she had a heart, you know, but you know, I don't know, because she was like, she told me, I guess I can't deny my niece, you know, this one thing. And uh, she would tell and she said, you're going to pay $25,000 to to get in, you know. And so she, she said, do you have it? She was like, yeah, I have it. Well, she said, okay, well, who, who are going to be on the guest list? She said, just me and my, just me and, and Piggy. I, I guess that's Pat. And so, um. Okay, so then it goes, Leah is going, I mean, so Leah is teaching the women. She got all the girls, and they're sitting, she's telling them how, how they're supposed to eat, which forks and not, you know, the silverware they're supposed to use with, with, with what, a salad fork, shrimp fork, whatever. So she's going over all that with the girls. And so, um... Okay, so she go over there, and then all of a sudden... You know, the dads go up and they, they grab their daughters one by one by one. Well, now, Nick is sitting here because, you know, she thinks her dad's dead or whatever. So, Angie goes and put on a jacket and she comes over and she gets her to dance. And so, they're on the dance floor dancing or whatever. And here comes Leah. You know, she... I'm, you know, like... Leah is just like her dad, but I'm trying, like, I don't know, something about her tonight made me say, oh, okay, she is human. You know what I'm saying? Because at first I was like, oh, she's just nasty. Her child is nasty. Just, oh. Uh. But anyway, I'm, I'm holding out hope for Leah. I'm holding out some hope because I don't want to write her off too soon. She comes up and she's like, no, you know, at, at the, at the, at the cotillion, you know, a man would have to be dancing with her or whatever. So she calls this older guy that was sitting over there to dance with her or whatever. Cause Angie told her, she said, I had, I had on both of my breasts. I carried her and whatever. And now I can dance with her with both my feet. Well, that wasn't enough for Leo. So, oh, she just, she, she do too much. So Taylor and Nikki are, um, Yeah, and I had put it right here. I was like, Leo is such a jerk. Oh, she just, but I'm holding out hope for Leo. I'm holding out some hope, y'all, for Leo. So Taylor and Nikki are uh, sitting and talking, and Lauren walks up. You know, she, you know, she just, oh, this little girl, she just, ugh. So she walks up and uh, she, you know, starts talking, acting like her mama, just nasty. So Nikki walks off or whatever. So she sits down and she's telling Taylor, you know, hey, why don't we escort each other to the cotillion? I mean, you know, they, I, I, you know, I want my life. I want you in my life. You know, I want to be, you know, see a long life with you or whatever. And let's start with escorting each other to the cotillion. So, Angie go and ask uh, Tariq to escort Nikki to the cotillion. And he asked, where's Nikki's dad? And she tell him, you know, she told him the whole story. He was he was charged as an accessory. He got a life sentence, whatever. And because the, the guy he was with killed a man or whatever. And so, Tariq had to tell the truth. He done hit the fan. And he, he, he tells, he lay it out. And he was like, um, Ted asked him to plant the, uh, 
camera and spy on her. So Angie asked, all this time, was it for Teddy? And Teresa said, no, you know, if, you know, the second he realized they were wrong, he took, that's when he took the cameras down. Angie was hot, baby. She was hot. She told me to get out. Okay. So Nikki looks beautiful in her white dresses. You know, she's trying on the right, the perfect dress. And she, so she didn't, she liked them, but she said it wasn't her. So she showed her mom this vintage dress. And I don't know, maybe she think her mom have money because <laughs> You know, the mom is selling selling away stuff to make her dreams come true. But it's like somebody need to tell Nikki, your mama don't have this money, sweetie. I, I don't know what you think your mama got, but she don't have it. So uh, she thanked her mom, you know, for getting her into the cotillion. And so they had, the, they had this duck shooting range thing or whatever. And actually, it, it belongs to uh, Raymond's mom, Raymond DuPont's mom. So these white men was like, oh, you could tell when whatever, cause the 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 dark skin. Some these these two white men said. So Chris got offended and he and he said some back fly to the to the older men. So his mama and and, and uh, Raymond was yeah his Olivia and Raymond were um you know giving Quincy a lesson like you know that's why she you know opened this place and you know so that black people can come and, you know, do stuff like this. And that's why she charged them $2,000. Now she's going to charge them three. The next time those two particular men come, she's going to charge, she going to charge them more money. And so, um, Raymond finally tell his mama about, you know, talk to his mama about the fact that Teddy is freezing him out. And so she was like, his mama said, I was waiting on you. Um, I've been waiting for you to suit up for the battle, you know. And so I was like, yeah. So Nikki goes and she was talking to her mom. And she, you know, she was like, I, you know, I was thinking, can Tariq take me? And so she said, oh, that's sweet. But we broke up. She was like, why? Why are you always pushing people away or whatever? You know, you need to learn to forgive. And so her mom was looking, you know, and she was like, well, he did some shady stuff. She was like, my mom, you need to learn to forgive, you know. And plus he's cute. And, and this is the bluffs. <laughs> like that make a difference. But I guess if you ugly, you can't be forgiven. <laughs> So if you ugly, if you ugly, dude, honey, hmm, you just know, baby, if you do something stupid, you just out of there, baby. <laughs> but if you handsome, if you if you Lance Gross or Ralph Angel or somebody, honey, you're going to get some second and third chances, honey. I'm just saying. Okay? I'm just saying. Evidently. So, you know, she tell mama, she's like, give him a chance. So... Leah's laying in bed and right uh Raymond come, they talking or whatever. He asked her about the he asked her about this company. And she lied, told her she her daughter's she her father's daughter. So she like the kids are gone and whatever. So she ready to go get high and steamy in the shower. He said, Okay. She said, I meet me, me in five minutes. He said, Me me I'll meet you in three. Babe, she hopped and ran to the shower. He went right over there and opened up her laptop and seen looked was looking for what he was looking for, found what he was looking for. She, I'm telling you, she is her father's daughter. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. So, Ted is talking to his doctor about the tremors and stuff, and he giving these pills. He said, only take one every eight hours, you know, and this should help. Um, so, Taylor and Nikki... You know, they, okay, so all the the girls were supposed to meet up on the bus. Well, Taylor and Nikki meet up, or the first two on the bus. Well, all of a sudden, they kiss again. Well, this time, Laura got on the bus, and she saw him, and she storms out. Well, now it's time. Okay, so, okay, so wait, I'm going to go back to that. So hold your horses. So Angie calls Tariq over. She's trying to figure out, you know, because she wants to clear her mom's name and, you know, I think she's willing to forgive him, but he's going to have to come up help her, you know. 
You won't you 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 are you sure that it, it wasn't you wasn't doing this just strictly for them. You know what I'm saying? Cause if it's strictly for them, then I know you're not gonna help me. But he started talking, you know. Um he told her that Lewis, uh, the Teddy keep Lewis journals in the office at the house and they're supposed to have dinner tonight and you know so Angie just, you know, she already knew, honey, in order to fit in with these people, you're going to have to get dirty and play these games with them. Okay, so, hold on. So, at the, at, they, they were having a ceremony where you, each, each young lady come up, say, you know, their name, what they want to do, where they want to graduate, where they're going to graduate from, from college, and what they want to be. All the girls came up. So Nikki come up and Lauren, you know, she started talking and the lady from Spelman is there. Nikki, uh, Lauren jumps up. I just want to say something on behalf of my cousin. You know, she mad that she caught Taylor and Nikki kissing. So she was like, you know, you have, you've overcome so much. You got a criminal record and, you know, said in front of the lady. So Nikki is embarrassed and she runs off. And so Lauren comes behind her. And she was like, why would you say that? You know, you, you know, you got a criminal record too. The only, you know, the only difference is your, your, you have rich parents. So of course they can make it disappear. They can make your record disappear. When my charges were dropped, I was like, oh, mm, mm, mm. so she thought she did something, but she didn't do nothing. Cause Nikki, cause Taylor came up and said, uh, I don't want to go to the cotillion with you. Something in you is broken. And I don't want to be around you. So now you're standing there looking stupid. Because whatever you thought you were doing, you, you thought you was embarrassing Nikki, and now you don't even have a girlfriend with that stupid stuff. And she walked away from him. So, um... Pat, uh, Patricia and Angel was talking and Patricia was mad. She was like, she just nasty. <laughs> she just nasty. So look, and said, well, you know where she get it from? Her mama. So Nikki, she comes in the room and she said, we should go. And we, you, we should go and we, it's, we, it's time out for playing nice. So, well, Angie had went and talked to Teddy and she was like, you know, she ran some games. She was like, hey, you know, I don't, I don't even know how I feel about it, whatever, but maybe we could take it one day at a time and, you know, try to build a relationship or whatever. This was all in order to get over to the house for dinner that night. And he was like, okay, you know, and before she came in, he had a letter, but he didn't, you know, he was opening the letter or whatever. And so, yeah, she went over there and she played the, she played the part, um, this week, <laughs> Yeah, my wig said, girl, you don't need this third video. It's time, it's time to go to bed. And you got to work in the morning. Okay. <laughs> so, um, she played the part, whatever. So, they go. So, uh, T Teddy gets up. And he he welcomes both of them into the family. And you're like, hey, my whole family, whatever. So, Nikki gets up, right? You know, her and her mama tag team and ain't mad. So, she gets up and she was talking. And, and Lauren starts hitting her hands on the table, making noise. She said, are you serious right now, Lauren? And so, her mama jumped in and said, that is, that's just rude and disrespectful. And, you know, you out of the cotillion. She was like, what? She said, you out of the cotillion. I don't know which is worse, you know, um, the, the fact of how you act or the fact that, um, you know, you get it from me. That's why I said it, it might be some hope for Lil. It might be some hope. And so she, she was like, and you can leave. And she was like, well, you know, she, you can leave. And the daddy jumped in. Yeah. Lil, Lauren, Lee, you're dismissed. Go on, go to your room. You want to act nasty. So Nikki act like she crying and she run away and, uh, the mama run away, you know, to catch her. And she was like, she comes, she said, you know, she said, you okay? And she was like, you know, so she let her know, like, okay, I'm trying to help you. So she said, go back. And just if they anybody ask, just tell them I am outside to get some air. Well, Teddy went to the bathroom because he's, you know, whatever. And he goes and take a pill. Well, He's standing there and he's talking to the man in the mirror, which is 
Teddy. He was like, you and I beat me and blah, blah, blah. You know, getting himself together, trying to compose himself. Because before he went to the bathroom, he couldn't even scoop up him some soup. He could he you know his he couldn't get his hands to cooperate with his mind to scoop up some soup so he get up and go to the bathroom. Well, in the meantime, uh, Angie is in the office looking, and so Tariq comes in. I guess you know he and he was telling her, "Hey, you need to leave you leave up out of here before the cameras pick pick it up, or, you know, pick you up or whatever." And Teddy goes, you know, he got himself together and he go, he got ready to go out the door and he started shaking and fell to the floor. Well, while he was on the floor, he could hear Tariq and he can see shoes. He saw red shoes. He saw Tariq's shoes. He saw two pair of shoes. But I know unless they come back and say he didn't hear properly, I know he heard Tariq's voice. He said, let's get out of here or whatever. So uh, that's how it went off. So, let me just make sure, guys. Oh, oh. <sighs> yeah, he had a bad... Um... Yeah, so he was taking his medicine and he tells... Okay, yeah. So, he saw the shoes and he... I know he heard Tariq's voice now. Unless they act like he didn't hear Tariq's voice. You know, because it might be next week, you know, where they show the preview of it. So... But that was it, guys. That was Season 1, Episode 5, The Miseducation of the Negro. And it was a pretty good episode. It was a pretty good episode. And uh, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I've been forgetting to say that on my videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.